today's fragrance that we're gonna actually talk about is Mancera's Aqua Wood. It's one of my newest acquisitions. I will say it's a little different from what I'm usually expecting from Mancera. It's not extremely overpowering. It also does not last a long time on my skin as far as I can tell. This fragrance is not that at all. Make sense? So glad we talked about it. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way It's your man Uncommon Sense here with another Ride Along. Today's Ride Along is gonna feature one of my favorite niche houses in the house of Mancera, Mancera's Aqua Wood. It's one of my newest acquisitions in my collection and I will say it's a little different from what I'm usually expecting from Mancera. As far as the older fragrances, heavy in the ooh, rose, vanilla. This fragrance is not that at all. It is indeed a summer and spring fragrance. It's not extremely overpowering. It also does not last a long time on my side. But what it does do well is smell great. And it does have that natural feel. It's almost like a niche version of the Giorgio Armani, the Aqua de Gios, those types of fragrances. The blue, the fresh, the clean, the sexy. It's musk in here. It's a citrus element in there. Something real suede about it too. It's a real smooth, kind of like how cashmere feels on the skin or how silk and satin respond. So those reasons right there, Mancera Aqua Wood is still a win to me. I've been a bit disappointed with its quote unquote performance just because I think the bar has been set so high with the rest of the fragrances in the Mancera line. And I'm noticing there are several fragrances in this lineup from Pierre Montal that indeed have, I don't want to say diminished performance, but what I do want to say, it is, I won't say I've smelled anything like it, but it does kind of remind me of Soleil de So not that citric and bright, but along the same lines. It's like Soleil de Tali is the original Aqua de Show and aqua wood is the profundo version all in all i really feel like this fragrance is a winner it's one that's going to be in my collection from here on out i love the blue fragrances so i'm going to be a little partial in that regard with that being said i really believe that this fragrance is a blue lover's dream it actually reminds me a little bit of what Lamar Gas has sent me, the key. It just doesn't have that bright citrus up top. It is woody, it's aquatic, and it's musky. Those are the three accords, I would say. And another thing that I noticed, this one's a little harder to kind of pick apart in terms of the notes specifically. I think on this one, the chords are a bit more apparent than the specific notes themselves. That actually, to me, is a sign of well-blended, rounded fragrance. So my nose was just being challenged, like, you know, I, maybe I ain't got it. <laughs> but I'll attribute that to the actual blending of the fragrance, not necessarily place some physical limitation. Overall score, I would give this one a seven and a half out of 10 because it is extremely versatile. I'm also getting in that place, well, you know, there are certain times for certain things. Do I want this fragrance to last all day? Yes, I would love for it to, but it doesn't. And honestly, that's okay. The reason why that's okay is because it'll allow me to transition into something for nighttime or a little bit later in the day, because I specifically probably would not intentionally put this on for going out or for nighttime. I will put this on safely. I will put this on for a day at the office. I'll put this on for perhaps a brunch. I will put this on for a meeting or an outing or something like that. I will put this on in those situations. This fragrance is clean. It's inoffensive. I don't think anybody would smell it something like that. Oh, this fragrance is so outputting. It's not one of those. It's one of what I believe to be that I say entry level 
niche in terms of a individual that's in their fragrance journey that's looking for something a bit better blended that's looking for something that's possibly a little bit off the beaten path everybody's probably not going to have this fragrance however they're probably going to be individuals that smell similar all things considered i believe that this is something that if you have been in your fragrance journey for a while you're looking for something a bit different than the aqua de shells than the uh paca robans than the sweet loud fragrances this was more of a silent assassin it's kind of a close encounter fragrance too. it does not have that big projection that i'm used to with manceras but for that reason i feel like i cannot wear my manceras comfortably or appropriately for the setting and usually an individual like myself i'm usually not too caught up in what individuals think however i don't want to be the guy that has on too much fragrance or smell off-putting i don't want to be that person for those reasons i believe that this fragrance does its job and ticks those boxes so for versatility i'm actually going to give it a nine out of ten i really can't think of many situations that this one wouldn't be appropriate in except for maybe a date night but in intimate settings, it can smell very well too because it allows an individual to kind of get up on you without being overpowered and overwhelmed. Make sense? So glad we talked about it. Now, in terms of price, it's a newer release, not a new release. It came out in 2020. It's roughly about a year now, and I'm just now reviewing it. I know. Don't kill me, kids. <laughs> if I don't hurt myself first. I do that every now and again. I'll buy a fragrance and then sit on it for a bit I, because I really want to get acquainted with it. I don't want to hop on and have a bunch of opinions and then come to find out later I'm singing a different tone. I want to ensure that I know exactly what I'm talking about, that I am true to the uncommon sense vision, brand, and mission statement. I want to find things that everybody are not rocking. I don't see anybody really talking about this a lot. So... That's one of the reasons I gravitate toward it. Of course, the bottle is amazing. The juice is a little different from Mancera because there are certain ones I can spray on my skin and I, it'll be oily. This one is not one of those. You spray it and it dries down pretty clear. So I will feel comfortable spraying this on clothes, which I did today. Other ones that I do not feel comfortable spraying on clothes because if you're shiny -shiny on my hand, then there's a hot oil content. Price? Man, Sarah Juicy, in my opinion and experience, offer great value for the price. Because for four ounces, it costs me less than 120 bucks. And let's be very clear in terms of value. There are designer fragrances that are out here for a 3.4 that are cost of 110, 120. So this is how I feel about it. I'm not a niche snob. However, I love exclusivity. So, if there is a fragrance in a niche house or a specialty fragrance house that offers more value for the price, then from an economic standpoint, it only makes sense to me. I don't know many fragrance houses that are offering four ounce for less than 130 bucks. For the exclusivity and the value of the fragrance and the composition, I'm starting to really understand pricing. There are, of course, some prices that are just outrageous to me, that I just don't understand. So, I'm not going to name any names. If you're new to the channel, check out the rest of my videos and content. Like, comment, and subscribe, and consider becoming a part of the Uncommon Sense family. Drop me a thumbs up if you dig this content. If you're not feeling it, hey, you know what to do, too. I appreciate all valuable feedback that is true feedback and trying to make these videos and channel better than they are many hours later I'm back with some updates the work day has wrapped i'm headed on home i have to say that my previous assessments were not 100 percent accurate what remains true is the fragrance smells good the fragrance makes me feel sexy it's fresh clean aquatic with a little bit of woodsiness to it must what i was incorrect about was the fact that it didn't last all day. the fragrance lasts all day it's not a monster projector and honestly 
I'm getting to that place where it doesn't have to be. I'm in the mind frame of every fragrance does not need to be a nuclear powerhouse, especially a collection of 100 plus. All of them couldn't and shouldn't be projection monsters. I need an olfactory break every now and again. I believe my sense of smell has either been keen for a very long time or it's getting more specific these days. As I stated with this fragrance in the opening and quite frankly for the duration of the fragrance, it's challenging to pick out very specific notes. There are more so accords that you can pick up. It kind of reminds me of a niche version of Chrome by Azaro. Not as sweet, not as loud. It's kind of like a toned down version of Chrome. But where Chrome was too sickly sweet and made me kind of want to puke a little, it was something about it that was just off-putting. This isn't that, it's a lot more smooth. It's better blended, it's more well-rounded. Comment below, let me know if you smelled this fragrance. And if you haven't, are you interested in the sample? And we'll do a, like a little giveaway or a raffle, if you will, to pick from the individuals who are interested and get them a sample. I believe I go a Nazi too throughout the day and it sits a little closer to the skin. So you can be under it or in its presence for quite a while without being fatigued. It's not that overpowering. But I will say when I got up and was walking through the office, by the time I came back to my office and sat down, I could smell me in my office. And it smelled really good in the air off my skin. It was amazing. I was like, well, damn, is this what other people experience from me? And that may sound narcissistic, but it was enjoyable. It smelled good in the air off my skin. Now, it definitely doesn't smell like exactly how I smell at the bottle on my skin. It smells just a little different, which I'm really experiencing and liking. And certain fragrances that actually smell good on me or that my skin brings to life are the aquatics, are the blues. And it's not just because my favorite color is blue. I think there's something about an aquatic woody aromatic a woody aromatic that coincides with the type of skin chemistry that I have. And with that being said, I'm actually glad that I did get this fragrance. Had I not experienced it, I wouldn't know that it's something that I like. Or I could have forewent it and just denied myself the pleasure. And it's like, why do that? Why deny yourself simple pleasure when there's pleasure to be had and it's within the means? So. All that to say, I give it a thumbs up. Now, performance-wise, I'm a little bit more lenient on it. I'd say I'd give it a seven in performance. It's not bad, it's not excellent, but it does well. I think seven is probably a little harsh, because that's a C. <laughs> when you compare it, amongst the others, and I do know, comparison is a thief of joy. It's really fly. And I definitely would feel like this would fit in with the Aqua de Shell line, just on a niche level, on a pure perfume lover's scale. And that's gonna be it for me. Love you from the bottom of my heart, the top of the sides. And all the way around, then we lift it up and we love on you underneath it. Put it back down and put a little bit of love on top. I'm out. Till next time.